What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Weekly Ranking Show, where we go through all the ATP and WTA rankings for the week. And it's official now. The seedings for the French Open are locked in after this week's rankings. Let's go have a look at the top 10 for the men. So no changes this week to the ATP rankings. We have Novak Djokovic. He's still world number one. Daniel Medvedev is number two, meaning that he will be the second seed of the French Open, with Rafa Nadal at number three, meaning that he will be the third seed at the French Open. Dominic Team, he's number four. Stefano Tsitsipas, even after winning Lyon last week, stays at number five, with Alexander Zverev at number six, Rublev at number seven, Federer, he'll be number eight going into the French Open, Berrettini number nine, and Diego Schwartzman rounds out the top 10. Having a look at the race to the ATP Finals, and Tsitsipas, after winning in Lyon, adds a few more points to his total, stays at number one, with Novak Djokovic close behind at number two, Rublev, he's at number three, Zverev at number four, followed very closely behind by Daniel Medvedev, Rafa Nadal at number six, very close behind Medvedev. Karatsev, he's number seven. Hercatch, the Miami Open champion, number eight. Berrettini at number nine. And Yannick Sinner, he drops out of the top 10. Kasper Rudd jumping into the top 10 after winning last week in Geneva. Having a look at some of the players that have gone up the rankings this week on the ATP. Kasper Rudd, as I just mentioned, winning Geneva, he goes back up to a career high ranking of 16 in the world. It's a career equaling high ranking because he was at 16 a couple of weeks ago. That's five spots higher than last week. And Cam Norrie, after making the Leon final, he goes up four spots to number 45 in the world. Looking at some of the players that have dropped down this week, Ben Pair, he's dropped down four spots to number 40 in the world. And Radu Elbot has dropped down nine spots to 88 in the world. Having a look now at the WTA rankings for the week, and we have no changes. Ash Barty, she stays at number one, meaning that she will be the number one seed at the French Open. Naomi Osaka at number two. Simona Halep at number three, but she is not playing the French Open. She has withdrawn, meaning that the number four in the world, Sabalenka, should be the third seed at the French Open. Sophia Kennan, she is the number five, followed very closely behind by Alina Svetolina at number six. Bianca Andreescu, she's at number seven. Serena Williams, number eight in the world. Igis Fiontek at number nine, followed very closely by Karolina Pliskova, rounding out the top 10. Having a look now at the top 10 for the race to the WTA Finals, the race to share Jin. Again, no changes this week with Ash Barty staying at number one. Sabalenka at number two, followed very closely behind by Osaka at number three. Muguruza, she's number four. Igis Fiontek is number five, followed by Jen Brady, who is at number six. Elise Mertens, she's still at number seven, followed very closely behind Kudamatova at number eight. Svetolina is at number nine, and Pagula rounds out the top ten for this week. Having a look at some of the players that have gone up in the rankings this week, and Coco Goff. She is at a career-high ranking, number 25 in the world. It's five spots higher than last week after winning last week in Palmer. So winning a title in Palmer, she's gone up. And Bedosa, she is also at a career-high ranking after winning a title last week in Serbia. She's at number 34 in the world. That is 10 spots higher than the previous week. Some of the players that have dropped down in the rankings this week, Yastremska, she has dropped down four spots to 37 in the world, still on a provisional suspension. And Putin Seva has dropped down eight spots to number 43 in the world. So there you have it. They're the rankings for the week. No changes, no big changes for the men or the women this week on the top 10 side of things. And remember, this week, the rankings this week mean that these are going to be the seeds going into the French Open next week. So number two in the world, Daniel Medvedev, he is the second seed at the French Open with Rafa being number three, which means that Rafa might have to play Djokovic in the semifinals if that's the way the draw plays out. We'll find out that in a couple of days. But let me know down in the comments below. Are you shocked by any of these things? Are you shocked by any of the results from the week? Coco Goff, career high ranking. Bedosa, career high ranking. Are you shocked by any of that? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know down in the comments below. Do you think Medvedev is going to be great at the number two seed at the French Open, or do you think it doesn't really matter because Raf is still the king of clay? So no changes to the top 10 for either the men or the women going into the French Open.